Best job ever. 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 Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most difficult movie roles ever. We're staying in here until you feel better. Where is it? This role's destroying you. For this list, we'll be looking at the roles that reportedly put the biggest strain on actors, whether emotionally or physically, often involving severely unhealthy weight changes. What movie roles seem most challenging to you? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, The Joker, The Dark Knight. Oh. 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 Never start with the head, the victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. Playing a character like Batman's deranged arch nemesis, The Joker, can take a lot out of an actor. Joaquin Phoenix said he, quote, felt overwhelmed and terrified about the role. Maybe he heard what Heath Ledger had to put himself through. Well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You wanna know how I got him? In order to portray the clown prince of crime, Ledger spent about a month isolated in a hotel room to tap into the madness of the Joker, including how he speaks and laughs. <laughs> Ledger also reportedly struggled with insomnia, claiming to only get around two hours of sleep per night. Tragically, Ledger passed away before The Dark Knight was released, but his performance cemented him as an absolute master of his craft. It's... it's gone. Number 9. Nina Sayers, Black Swan The life of a ballerina can be very controversially grueling and demanding, as Natalie Portman learned firsthand when she starred in this psychological thriller. Not so controlled. Seduces. Not just the prince, but the court, the audience, the entire world. Come on! To play Nina, a ballerina who puts herself through hell to play the dual lead roles in Swan Lake, Portman put herself through the ringer. The already diminutive Portman reportedly lost 20 pounds to play Nina and worked out for five hours a day to achieve the look of a ballerina. She also paid for her own dancing lessons. I know it's been a struggle. <sighs> but you just had a breakthrough this morning. Tomorrow's yours. Just give a great performance and you won't have to worry about Lily or anybody else. Production took a massive toll on Portman, who experienced a concussion and a rib dislocation. If we didn't know any better, we would have guessed Portman was a professional ballerina all along. That was perfect. Number 8. Boyd Bible Swan. Fury. Which way is the front? Which way is the front? Hmm. All around us, kid, because it's Germany. Shia LaBeouf had a surprising role in this World War II drama, but his commitment to his character was so great, he could have carried a movie all on his own. In order to really feel like his character, a member of an American tank crew in Germany, LaBeouf reportedly went months without showering, ripped out his tooth, and cut himself in the face. LaBeouf also reportedly converted to Christianity to play the religious Boyd. Stop, all right? Don't try to divert your heat. You mind if I continue invading Germany? His co-stars were reportedly so bothered by LaBeouf's lack of hygiene and other method acting that he was made to stay in a bed and breakfast separate from them during filming. We're just glad we didn't have to smell LaBeouf's devotion to his craft. You get your ass up there, boy. I hope you escape this. Number seven, Eileen Warnos. Monster. I always wanted to be in the movies. When I was little, I thought for sure one day, I could be a big, big star. The glamorous Charlize Theron went through one of the most stunning on-screen transformations ever to play real-life serial killer Eileen Warnos. To play Warnos, Theron put on 30 pounds, shaved her eyebrows off, wore dentures, and had her gorgeous blonde hair thinned and fried. Theron also had tattoo ink applied to her skin to give her an appropriately ravaged look. I don't have any experience per se, but um, I'm a real. 
I mean, I'm a real hard worker. Theron is all but unrecognizable as Warnos, and she won a well-deserved Oscar for her work. It takes more than a physical transformation to deliver a great performance, but Theron definitely gave this role her all. And the thing no one ever realized about me or believed was that I could learn. I could train myself into anything. Number six, Fantine, Les Miserables. We know that Anne Hathaway is an exceptionally talented and charming actress, but Les Miserables showed us just how devoted she was. Holy God, is there no mercy? If I go to jail, she'll die. In this adaptation of the musical based on Victor Hugo's novel, Hathaway plays the destitute and desperate Fonsin, who contributes some of the movie's most heartbreaking moments. This includes the show-stopping ballad, I Dreamed a Dream. I had a dream my life would be. So different from this hell I'm living. Hathaway, who along with other cast members did live singing for the film, lost 25 pounds from her already thin frame and had her actual hair cut on camera. Monsieur, don't mock me now, I pray. It's hard enough I've lost my pride. When you see her work in Les Miserables, you can easily see how Hathaway won an Oscar for it. Number 5. Jake LaMotta, Raging Bull Robert De Niro didn't just act like middleweight boxer Jake LaMotta in Martin Scorsese's uncompromising biopic, he became LaMotta. To play the prize fighter, De Niro trained for three months with the real LaMotta and won two boxing matches to prove he could carry himself in the ring. The movie also chronicles LaMotta's post-boxing career as an aging stand-up comedian. Ah, seriously, folks, it's a thrill to be standing here before you wonderful people tonight. Well, in fact, it's a thrill to be standing. To achieve the right look, De Niro gained about 60 pounds. How'd he do it? By feasting all around France and northern Italy during a filming break. I'm tired of worrying about weight all the time. That's all I used to think about was weight, weight, weight. After a while, you know, you realize other things in life. This apparently took such a toll on De Niro and his appearance that Scorsese likened De Niro's breathing to an asthma attack. A new disturbing standard was set for method acting devotion. Why, 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 why? Number 4. Vladislav Spielmann, the pianist. Wovon leben Sie? Ich bin. Ich war pianist. The Pianist, a movie about real-life Polish-Jewish pianist Vladislav Spielmann and his struggles to survive in Nazi-occupied Warsaw, is incredibly powerful. This is in no small part thanks to Adrian Brody's Oscar-winning performance as Spielmann. Yeah. So this. For it's more important than time. To embody the titular pianist, Brody took up the piano, lost 31 pounds by subsisting on a light daily diet, and did away with his car and apartment. Brody's dedication resulted in a truly haunting performance, one that transcends acting to become something more like a transformation. It's also a devastating depiction of historical horrors that must never be forgotten. Number 3. Christy Brown, My Left Foot Daniel Day-Lewis's commitment to his roles is well known, and when the camera stops rolling, Day-Lewis stays in character. In his first Oscar-winning performance, Day-Lewis played Christy Brown, a writer and painter whose cerebral palsy left him only able to control one appendage, his left foot. And you typed all of it with your left foot. I didn't do it with my nose. Day Lewis was so devoted to the character that he had others on set assist him with eating and stayed in his wheelchair. His posture also resulted in him breaking two ribs. His commitment reportedly rubbed some of the crew the wrong way, but there's no questioning Day Lewis's unbelievable skills as an actor. I think you're brilliant. Yeah, I'm only as brilliant as my patients. Number two, Hugh Glass, The Revenant. <laughs> For years, movie fans wondered what it would take for Leonardo DiCaprio to finally win an Oscar. Well, he finally did it for 2015's The Revenant, a performance with enough dedication for multiple Oscars. That was no deal. You killed my boy.
to play real-life fur trapper Hugh Glass, who endured an amazing story of survival, DiCaprio himself went through extreme difficulties. Filming mostly outdoors during the bitter cold of a Canadian winter, DiCaprio learned how to survive in the elements, which included starting a fire, eating raw bison liver, despite being a vegetarian, and sleeping inside the carcass of a dead animal. He also swam in freezing rivers numerous times, which may have resulted in hypothermia. Talk about getting into character and staying there. I ain't afraid to die anymore. I'm done it already. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Trevor Resnick, The Machinist Most of the performances on this list won Oscars, but this wasn't even nominated. Then again, the Academy usually doesn't go for movies like The Machinist, an intense psychological thriller about a factory worker racked by insomnia and psychological anguish. You know so little about me. What if I turn into a werewolf or something? To play machinist Resnick, Christian Bale dropped 62 pounds and weighed only about 120 pounds during filming. To do this, he would consume an apple, water, and a cup of coffee each day. He reportedly wanted to go down to 99 pounds, but this was shut down due to health concerns. If you were any thinner, you wouldn't exist. No. After filming was over, Bale had only six months to bulk up for his next role. The role? Batman. You will never learn. As we now all know, Christian Bale will go far for his roles. Just want to sleep. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.